Uh, we've got a very special guest coming up, Dr. Brad Weeks. I've spoken with him before at a conference, the Right to Try. Great guy, lover of liberty. He completed his under, undergraduate studies at Dartmouth College, then prior to medical school training at the University of Vermont. Dr. Weeks worked in the Harvard system doing two years of research at Mass. Was he in General Hospital? Were you in General Hospital? Not the soap opera. MGH, Man's Greatest Hospital. Man's Greatest Hospital, Massachusetts General, and a mineral metabolism unit working on osteoporosis. In addition, he studied nutrition, acupuncture, massage, shiatsu, music therapy, anthroposophical medicine, and classical homeopathy. A charter and founding member of International Organization of Integrative Cancer Physicians, he is one of three doctors in the USA who is certified to teach insulin potentiation chemotherapy, IPT, to medical doctors. He's a pioneer in oncoimmunology. He has lectured over the past five years about the revolution in oncology, teaching that cancer stem cells should be the target for treatment and not the relatively harmless cancer tumor cells. Brad told me just before a year ago, he founded the Washington Integrative Medical Association. Those of you who love health freedom, let me hear you. Health freedom, anybody? This is the guy for patients and doctors. Please welcome Dr. Weeks to the stage. Dr. Brad Weeks. Such a pro, I love it. <laughs> Thank you all. What a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a great honor to be here. And I have to apologize right off the bat because it's always quality or quantity. And I'm going to give you quantity today. I hope some quality uh, slips in, but we're going to go through a lot of information. So uh, for all of those who are watching this online, half a million people, uh, pause for the slides to go to the references because my goal is to give you the science which will empower you to know that what I'm telling you is true. I don't want to try to persuade you about each point as we go along. I want to just, in a way, uh, inform you and then you can do your own due diligence. Hi, my name is Temple Swift and I have had the craziest six months. I'm a relatively healthy person who have been lucky enough to be off all allergy and asthma medications for the last 10 years. And I, all of a sudden, in January 12th, had what looked like a stroke. My whole left side of my face went numb, my left arm, my left fingers were all tingly. And so when I went into the hospital three days later, because how could I be having a stroke, uh, they further uh, testing showed through an MRI that in fact it wasn't a stroke, it was the pressure caused by the brain tumor that I have right here in the center of my forehead, approximately the size of a large grape. That's right, all of a sudden in January I discovered I had a brain tumor. As of May 8th, I was to have brain surgery. Uh, they were going to go up through my nose rather than the traditional cutting my head open from ear to ear, which was a good news thing. Uh, however, that meant a ton of specialist appointments, 15 in total, which meant that I had basically a full-time job just taking care of my health. As you can see, I'm sitting here on June 27th and we have fabulous news. When they were gonna go up through my nose, that meant that I needed to um, uh, they were going to break it in three spots, so I needed to go to as many fine dining restaurants and chew as many steaks and roast beef as I could, because if you break your nose, it's very difficult to chew. And so about four weeks before I was able to chew. I also was going to lose my sense of smell, and that was very scary, because, um, you know, you need your sense of smell. I have two little boys, and you need to know when it's bath time. And so I drank a lot of red wine, had a lot of wine tastings, because what would be the point of ever drinking a glass of wine if you could no longer smell or taste it? Exactly. So I ended up um, uh, doubling up as well on my RAIN product. And RAIN is a high antioxidant uh, nutritional seed-based product. And I had heard a testimonial that somebody had shrunk their brain tumor. So I thought, why not? I'm going to just double up on it. And what I did with the rain was I had two soles a day and two cores a day. And that seems to have, according to the surgeon who called me on May the 7th, literally 11 hours before surgery, he said, I don't know what you've been doing, but continue doing it because you've actually shrunk your brain tumor. And all of a sudden, there was no surgery. So May 8th, I was scheduled for surgery and it didn't happen. Why? Because I shrunk the brain tumor. So we went back on June 23rd for my 
fifth MRI, and I ended up um, going in today on June 27th to speak with my surgeon and to see the photos taken um, of my brain and the brain tumor on the June 23rd. And so today, June 27th, we all sat down and looked at the screen, and there's no tumor. It's gone. It's completely gone. And it's so surreal that I went through six months of absolute crazy, um, but it's gone. And I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful. So thanks so much, and we'll keep on being healthy.